Hey guys, welcome back to a very Thanksgiving episode here on Brickitect, which is to say it's not really an episode at all. We have family coming over here very shortly and we're getting ready for that. So I don't have the time to make a proper video for you, but what I can do is show you something that I'm very proud of, something that I spent basically all of yesterday and some of today on, and that is perfecting the Brickitect Studio. For once in a very long time, I can't remember the last time it was like this, it's actually clean and organized. And I did a post on Instagram this morning because I was just so proud of it. If you're not following me over there, please do that. In a couple months, it may be the only place that we can communicate. But I wanted to kind of take you around down here and show you just how good this looks. At least, at least I think so. Maybe, maybe it doesn't look so good, but this comparison to how it's looked for a very long time where you would wonder if there's even a floor in here, it looks good. So let's go around here and I'm gonna show you all the cool stuff. We'll turn the microphone around here and I'll give you some smooth sounds of Brickitect as he takes you on a tour of the Brickitect studio. Why don't we just start here? I'll give you a wide angle shot of how it looks down here. Marvel at its amazingness, not even a word. Over here, this is, why is it so dark now? This is the backlog shelf. This is the Star Wars backlog over here. I didn't do anything over here. It's kind of just how it was and I thought I'd at least show it to you. There's something I need to build. There, oh, this set. This set's very much like a brick separator. It helps you pull pieces, only the pieces come out of your nose. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Down below here, we've got the chest set, and I think what's gonna be my next big build. Oh, angels fly down to Cloud City. I wanna build that so bad. Next thing we build. We also have Dark Vader's Castle over here. The Statue of Liberty coming soon, July 4th, 2020. Up here, we've got the advent calendar. I'm gonna get into that soon. I don't know if this is gonna be a set tour or it's gonna be the room. I think it's gonna be the room. Over here, this is a work in progress. I've got all of these Sterilite containers. I'm kind of seeing which one of these I like better. These are the bigger drawers, so, you know, you got your things in here. I have this in a system that I think kind of works for me, but I don't know, it's still under review. My tiles are getting out of control, so I'm starting to put tiles in here. I just kind of go by color, and I like that. It works for my brain. Over here, you guys know what this is. This is the backlog. The beautiful, beautiful backlog. All these sets, all this potential. We've got a ton of stuff in here. Old brickheads of past. Clark's final brickheads in our collection, as of at least as of today. I'm still waiting on my haul from Lego Shop at home. We've got other stuff in here. I'll do official backlog tour, I think, as an update video. If I could get down here. Still got those bloody Nexo Knight sets in here that I still haven't built in a year and a half. And then we got some of the Pops log. Clark wants to build this. We're gonna do that for a video, I suppose. And yeah, that is the, that's the backlog. But again, this isn't about the sets. It's about the studio, which I suppose is a part of that. Let's go down here. I'm very proud of this. Me and Clark man spent a little bit of time and he kind of messed it up, but this was a really nice train track. We finally got his train table to look like a train table again. It was what was on the table came over here and was just a giant mess of stuff. and. It may still look like a giant mess of stuff, but there's a functioning train on here. We've got the Disney train, the most overpriced thing that I've ever bought, but I do love it. I just wish it just came as the train because that's all we really used it for. Also have the cargo train here, which was over here. Dang it, I should have made this video before Clark Man came down here. But beyond that, this is all my collection over here. These are my pieces that I use for things. People ask like, how are you gonna make mocks when all of your pieces are in boxes over here? Because I always do the breaking down. That was a question I got actually. Well. We've got slopes, which I'd like to break those down a good bit more. We've got just bricks, which again, I like to break these down. Sort of like I did with these. So these are anything more than four wide plates are in here. These are of course, two wide plates. These are of course, one wide plates and it makes it so easy to find stuff, even though it's like super disorganized. Here we got minifigs on minifigs and so forth. Some of these are just kind of like junk drawers and things we've built in the past that Clarkman has decimated but you know, it's not too bad. Up here, we've got all my tiles and these are just little containers of all the little small things that you need in life. When you're looking for Lego pieces and they're tiny things, you like to have them stored properly. And that's how these are. My Technic stuff is all under here, up on top here, back to the studio decorations. This was from the Brickitect 15K art contest. And I still have that up on the wall. I love the way this looks. You guys did amazing work. I do wonder how many of these people that made these things are still here watching today because it was a long time ago, but it's all there. And I'm really proud of this and it's just nothing but good memories for me. Speaking of good memories, the popcorn cart skyscraper is back here, all the way down to the floor. This thing has fallen a couple times. That's why it's kind of sitting back there. I'm trying to keep it safe. Hopefully it stays that way. This is something that Mrs. Brickitech brought down. We're having guests here today. So this is making the room smell really glorious. And I really appreciate that. This right here is the popcorn cart army. 
trying to figure out what to do with these guys. And this is going to be for a video. I want to show some of the sets that I still want to get from 2019. I think I might do that like Friday if I have a chance. The Ferris wheel, still under construction, of course. The mini fig wall, unchanged. Very full, but I'm not too concerned about that. And you'll find out why here very soon. We've got some camera stuff over here. I've got my microphone. We've got my little little doodads and things that I've built. This is kind of the most disorganized part of the studio, I would say, at this point. This is all the sets that we've built. I've had people ask me when they watch my videos, they're like, hey, when are you building that set? When are you building this? In fact, I think my most recent question is, when am I building Santa's workshop? And I've already built all these things, which isn't to say that I wouldn't do it again, but um, maybe one of these days, I suppose. We'll get back into it. I have so much I still need to build. If you guys want to see a good picture of my family, very proud of this. Love that picture. I love that display. Got our brick tech shirts on. I think I'm going to start giving these pictures away. We're going to sign the back of them. Anytime someone wins a contest, I'm going to give a picture away too. Let's continue on our journey here. Over here, this is just my table of all kinds of stuff, including tape. We've got our stands that I've made. I need a bigger table, guys. It's really turning into that. Stuff that I've built. Stuff that's been acquired at Philly Brickfest. One of my favorite sets of all time, Voltron. We've got the Saturn V back here. We've got the Brickitec poster, the famous Brickitec poster. I love the way this looks. I love this too. I don't show this often, but this was made to us by, there's made for us by Lego Lady 21 and she did such a good job with that. And I like to have that back there. And I think it's underappreciated because of where it's at. Over here, we've got more stuff that we've built and we've got the Brickitect hats, which I think are going to make a comeback in 2020. I want to bring a hat back. Maybe not exactly like this, but I like the hats. I feel like it makes me a character, and that's that's what I want to be. I want to be a character. This, the roller coaster. You guys have seen it. We've played with it. A great investment, a terrible build, very expensive, but we've gotten a lot of use out of it and had a lot of fun with it. These are sets that Pops has sent me from the Pops log. That was a set that I was supposed to rebuild with Clark a year later. Completely missed the date. Over here, we've got some backlog spillover, assembly square, 4,000 pieces that need to be built. And of course, behind that, Apocalypseburg still needs to be built. They don't even fit on the shelf, so that's why they're there. And then we've got Clarky's Brickhead collection, which is the most recent thing that he was working on. Got a whole slew of them built here. Beyond that, this is the Games with Greg area, I guess, even though I don't really do that much because I don't have the time. But this is where I keep all of my stuff that's been built. We got Joker Manor. We've got my customized Harry Potter Great Hall. We've got an excavator. We've got the crane that Bricked a Lot sent us. Boost is over here hanging out. We've got Clark Man's collection, I guess, is what I'm calling this. All the Toy Story sets, which have been put there very willy-nilly. And then down here, we got juniors and brickheads and all that stuff. So that's easy for him to get to. Got the TV set up. We've got, what is this thing called? Mini modulars. We've got video games, video games, video games, video games. And then we've got, oh, there it is, the train station. Haven't done anything with it. Thinking about selling it. Say the section back here I'm not super proud of. This is the AT-AT, -AT, just standing there by himself. This is a cluster right here. These are all my vehicles that I've built. I love these vehicles and they deserve to be displayed better. We've got the Scout Trooper. We've got the fishing store, ship in the bottle. We've got the suicidal fire mech, Destiny's Bounty. This dude just chilling here. My favorite Lego set of all time. Made even better with another suicidal Ninjago movie set. We've got the diner. We've got the Lepin Attacked. Hawkbuster, got the Quake mech with the backlighting, and then we have my box hoard. My box hoard, boys. It's so bad. Just about to take you up there, but I almost forgot to show you down here. One of my favorite sets, got this for my birthday last year, the carousel, and here it sits, down here in the corner, unloved. What a terrible location to have such a glorious set. Just kind of got to the point where I was out of space and that's where it went. Back behind that are some more Pops Log stuff that he sent us and some more Pops Log stuff up here. And then this was the Rock Raiders auction thing. And then up here, I can't believe I almost forgot to show this all to you. Up here, this is all over Batman stuff. Clark Mann, of course, was a huge fan of Batman for a very long time and I kept all that stuff built so he could play with it, and build it. And don't mind the dust, guys. I'm a little embarrassed of that. This, I'm not embarrassed of. This is a lot of stuff that Brick detectors have sent us in the mail, things that I'm really proud of getting. There's me and Clark as Brickhead Studios back here. I know I'm doing a bad job of showing them to you. I'm trying though. We've got Brick Tech logos, also all kinds of stuff that, that we've got in the mail. And it's kind of like a shrine to remember the people that have done a lot for us. So that means a lot to me. This thing right here is also really cute. It's quite the shelf over there. Now up to this stuff. This was looking good at one point. It's almost like a dedication to Star Wars. Now I think it's just become a dedication to how much stuff can I fit onto a shelf without it collapsing? 
And that's where we're at right now. I guess that's essentially become a tour of the Brickitech studio. I wasn't planning to show you every little thing, but I mainly wanted to show you that the place is cleaned up. And look at the center area here. Look at this. I can come down here. We want to make a video. I don't have to take a whole bunch of stuff and move it from here to there, put it on Clark's train table. Poor little guy can't even build on it. I can literally come in here with a set, put it on the table, ready to film, ready to go. It just makes me feel really good. So that's why I'm sharing this. I'm not making this video to brag. I hope it doesn't come off that way. Like, oh, look at all this stuff that I got. Mainly bragging just the fact that I actually got it cleaned up. That I can brag about. That I'm happy with. But yeah, I'm just loving the way this looks. This is a really cool space. I just, I put a lot of dedication of time and energy and thought into how I wanted to design this room. And I just, I don't know. It just, it, it's a part of me at this point. It's a part of me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all have a nice Thanksgiving if you celebrate such things. That's what we're going to do now. Well, at least get ready for it. And I will see you guys in the next video.